Ladies and gentlemen, the third round. The heat is on. Mm. The nearest round's winner will face Count Tybalt himself in the final. <coughs> Phineas and Gerard of Rivia. Surely. I'll not play a mute. Are we to understand who forfeit this round? Fine. In that oh. case, no. I'm not swiving forfeit the round. I shall squash him like a louse. A good huh? match to you both. Please remember the tournament rules. No magic, no quarrels. Can we save before this? Eh? Hopefully? Maybe? Looks like it's going straight into the Gwent menu. Or crashing. The game may have crashed at the most inopportune time. Oh! Oh my god, there are two of them! What just happened? No magic! Did you not hear him? Okay, um, so. I actually don't think we've been getting cards from these matches yet. At least I haven't noticed them, and they haven't been Northern Realms cards. Getting anything new elsewhere? Cards that I don't recognize? I don't think so. I think we've seen these all. And what I'm guessing, I'm guessing that what's going to happen is our first opponent was Northern Realms, second opponent, Sasha, was uh, Nilfgaard. I think that this guy may be Scoyatel, and then last person will be Monsters. That's my guess. It's basically everyone's going to be a different faction. And I'm trying to think if that changes anything strategy wise here. Is there any reason for us to abandon ship from Northern Realms at this stage? I think. So, I, I, I imagine you're Scoytail because you're a half elf. So, <laughs> so like, it would be thematic if you were Scoytail and the other guy was monsters. But then again, we've certainly seen random people be random factions, and there isn't always some correlation there. But uh, if you are Scoytail, you have lots of medics. That's kind of your thing. And you also have a lot of the units that give plus one to every other unit in your row. Which... Hmm. I don't know if that... I mean, I think we just go with... Just go with what we've been doing so far. Don't mess with it now. Yes, you are, Scoytel. And... Decoy is good. They may have... Agile units, the ones that can pick whether to get played in either the melee or the range rows. That does make nerfs a little bit difficult to land on them. So we might not want to have Biting Frost. The Serious Elf plus Taller is pretty huge. Plus, sig plus Stennis? We have four spies. Wow. Okay, that's intriguing. Double Catapult, no leaders, or no heroes. But uh, with that many spies, I I'd have to imagine we hopefully can draw into one. Siege Expert is looking awfully weak now with, well, I mean, I suppose we do have some, some range or some siege units out here, but still think comparatively speaking, is almost certainly our weakest card. I think we dump you and then probably dump Fighting Frost, depending on what you swap into. Scorch, we can probably live with, especially for leading off with a bunch of spies. Gives us plenty of time to, uh, to not have strength on our side and just focus on dealing damage to you. Would like to have some heroes, though. That definitely does work well with Scorch when you have heroes, and at the moment, at least, we don't. Let's get rid of you. And we got... What? What did we get? Another Siege unit, I think. Okay, Dandelion. Which, similar to what we saw before uh, in the previous match, we could destroy him now and cut them off from doubling things in their melee row, which is... It's, that's potentially uh, even bigger than, say, scorching uh, a bunch of units that get played in the melee row. The thing is, though, that uh, Scoytel has a lot of muster, and muster is very weak to scorch. So that's actually that's a good reason for us to have picked up scorch here. 
because it summons a bunch of units that have the same amount of strength. So if you say play, what is it, the Hawker Smugglers, I think, or the Havkar Smugglers, have five strength apiece, and there's usually three of them, so they would get, they would normally be 15 strength, they double up to 30, and Scorching them would get rid of all of them, which is pretty big. So we might save for that. Because that'd be, yeah, 30 if we play it once all of them are out there, whereas if we get rid of Dandelion now, then they would still all go down for their usual 5 base strength apiece, meaning they'd be 15. So yeah, I think, you know, getting rid of 15 versus getting rid of 30, let's get rid of 30 strength instead. Double check what your leader ability is as well. Destroy your enemy, it's strongest close combat units. If the close combat row has 10 or more strength, so it's basically a dragon. I think that's fine. These are some close combat units, yes, but they're spies, and we're going to end playing on their side anyway. So, I mean, they could potentially swipe our spies, play them back on our side, and then destroy them that way, but that's, uh, that's far enough away from happening that we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Let's go with the Mysterious Elf. See what we try to We'd like some heroes. And we got... Yes, we did get a hero, and we got our Medic. That is big, and as expected, have our Smugglers. And I believe some of those came from your hand. It's never good. Because they will either come from your hand or your deck. You want them to come from your deck, because they are functionally just extra cards you get to play. Whereas if they come from your hand, you're just taking multiple turns, or effectively taking multiple turns in one round. So now I think we probably do go for the Scorch. And this is exactly what I was expecting. We get rid of 30 strength, rather than the 15 that we would have prevented from getting rid of Dandelion preemptively, and they immediately pass. Wow. Okay. Uh, so. We can certainly win this round. The question is, how aggressively do we go with the spies? Because if we wanted to, we could throw down three more spies, which would be pretty crazy. Let's just do some math here to figure out how much strength I would give them and how much we'd need to throw out on our side to make up for that. So, they'd have five, ten more. And they're on two right now, so they'd have 12. That means... You would not be enough, Philippa. But if we were to, say, draw into either Siri or Geralt, then that would be enough to, after playing one card on our side, pass them. Now, it's not guaranteed that we get them, either of those two. But I think that, you know, even if we do draw two cards, it's probably worth it. Maybe if we do need to play two cards, that's probably worth it, because we're drawing six cards in the process. Well, actually, we draw six cards, we lose three cards, because we're playing three spies, so on net we gain three cards. Then we have to play two cards, potentially, to pass them. In which case, we're on net only gaining one, which is not great. But, huh. What if we deliberately... Just play Stennis here, that gets you up to a seven. That means we can still pass you in just one card. I mean, I think I'm just wildly overthinking this at this point, but at the very least, let's play Stennis. See what we draw into here, and we do get Geralt. Okay, I think we do go all in on the spies in that case, because we can play. Oh, but it's gonna get doubled. Oh, I forgot you still have the double going from Dandelion. Okay. Good thing I took a second to take note of that. That would have changed things a lot. We could still play Taller. He is safe to play here, but he is safe to play almost all the time because one strength is almost never going to be a difference maker. I do think you're going to have a lot of medics, so there's a decent chance he'll be able to replay our spies. I actually want to be a little bit careful of giving you a bunch in this round when... I think you'll have a lot more spy... or Yeah, you'll have a lot more um, medics than you will spies or... Well, hard to say with decoys. You may not have decoys, or you may. I think we, we settle for Geralt now. And take this victory here. And we will draw an extra card now. Getting up to 11. We go first. So, I think we go the safe route here. And we could... Uh, well... We could deliberately pass here, give them round two, force them to play a card and go down to just five cards. Because unlike Nilfgaard and unlike Northern Realms, they're... Uh, well, unlike Nilfgaard, they don't win on ties, so they can't just pass immediately and not play a card. 
unlike Northern Realms, they won't draw a card when they win a round, so it's not like they're gonna get back the, uh, a card after playing a card, so on net, they don't lose anything. I think we do deliberately pass here in this case, just to increase the difference in card advantages. And that's not a terribly great card. Of course, we would love if they just decided to play some extremely strong card like a, a Geralt or a Ciri when they very much did not need to, like this. But okay, so now let's lead off with our heroes here. Just to keep it safe, we do not have a score at the moment. I'm kind of expecting them to medic either on this turn or the next turn to get back our spy. And that could change the equation considerably here. So, I mean, we could swipe back with our decoy. We actually kind of do want them to do that now if they are planning on it. Yes. I am predicting every single move that they are going to make. <laughs> uh, now we will swipe it. And we're hoping that you have Scorch as at least one of your cards here, because you're not going to want to play it, of course, What when you have a couple of six-strength cards. Um, I think it is potentially safe. I think it's safer for us to play the Spies now than it was in the previous rounds, because you're more likely to have healers than you are to have decoys, I think, because you have... Or, medics than you are to have decoys, because Boytel just has a bunch of medics. So I think we... Why don't we just play it a little bit safer? We'll give you the worst spy to start off with. And we will get another medic and a 10 strength here. That's pretty big. You'll play your Triss. But now we have more cards that are safe to play here that do not mess with you being the Scorch target. So let's do that, because our hope at this point is with you having just two cards left, we're hoping that those are both Scorchers and you don't want to play either of them, which might happen here. Now you have another Medic. Like I said, you have a lot of them. This time... Okay, you bring back one of the Havocar Smugglers, but they don't trigger their muster to summon cards back from their discard pile, only from their deck or their hand. So it's not terribly strong here. They do have a lead for now, but I'm not concerned about that because, you know, we're deliberately fighting our time here and they're... Looking at an eight card disadvantage right now. So we're going to make up for that by playing many cards after they are done. Play another spy here and get more siege cards. And we haven't used our leader building yet. And you have Saskia as your last card. So no scorches. You're just trying to drop down as much strength as you can. We'll throw in taller here. Now every card is safe to play. Uh, we don't really have anyone that we... Well, we can medic our... Or we can decoy our medic, I should say. Play you twice. Do we even have enough cards to bring... No, we don't have enough cards to bring back that way. Hey, do we really... <laughs> That's crazy. We played Geralt in round one. At least it was the only card on our side that we played. We played a bunch of spies. Or at least some spies. But he's the only card in our graveyard right now. That is pretty ridiculous. We actually don't have anything to do with our medic. Even if we... Use our decoy to play our medic twice. It doesn't really help us at all. But okay, so now we're just gonna beat them and rub it in their face that we kind of plan for this moment to slam a bunch of points. And remember when I said I wasn't too concerned about them having a bunch of points because we were kind of saving up? Yeah, this is what I meant. You know, we'll just like... You know, we have medics that we could have used to bring people back. In fact, could have brought one from you and could have brought two from you because we could have played you twice with the decoy. But uh, like I said, no one to bring back with that. So we'll, we'll leave it at this. I think he gets the message. The mutant cheated. I'll gouge those devilish eyes out with my bare hands. Is that so? Oh, he's actually, he's actually fighting us. I did not think he was actually going to fight us. He is actually fighting us. This was against the rules. You're actually kind of strong. You're level 27, which is the same level as us. But you're also a terrible fighter. Uh, excuse me, you actually hit us. That's rude. I was supposed to counter that. I did not time that terribly well. 
Come on. Put him up. Hey, get what you're supposed to. Yeah, follow up with a, a hit there. Come on. That was not the best of counters, but sure. That was also rather slow on my end. Or. Could have gotten a better counter than that, but probably the same there. Well, I mean, we're still getting some free hits on you. Let's end this. Come on. Come on, Geralt. Oh, I this time I got tried to get clever to block. Excuse me, sir. That was also got also trying to get too clever with the blocks. I don't like getting pinned in the corner like that. It does put us in a bit of a tough spot. It should do it. Serves you right. Well played. He's like, now well played, but you got disqualified because you fought that guy. That was against the rules. Yeah, it's better I took care of it. <laughs> Please, join me for the final. Uh, can we save first? I must admit I did not expect this outcome. Sasha's Rather like chilling here, even though she's out. Care. It's like, that's a little suspicious, but okay. I guess there were multiple games going on. Hold on. Can we save? We saved! Oh, that's huge. Actually huge. Worst comes to worst, we replay this one match. Alright, Sasa, you're just gonna be like our our person cheering us on. <laughs> like this is so suspicious that she's another competitor. She got eliminated, and she's just chilling here. <laughs> Sasha, <laughs> could you be any more suspicious? Clearly you're up to something. Why else would you be here? We're supposed to be enemies. We're supposed to be adversaries. Okay, so now. I mean, you know what I want to do? I want to continue to use Northern Realms. It's worked pretty darn well thus far. I suspect that uh, given the trend we've seen thus far, that someone play as first as Northern Realms, second as Nilfgaard, third as Scoitel, I think you're going to be monsters. I mean, could be something else, but I would be a little bit surprised if uh, monsters was the only faction unrepresented. Does that change much? I mean, Scorch, I think, is, again, very effective against monsters in particular. Similar to how it was, at least in one occasion, against Scoitel, because they have a lot of muster as well. So you could potentially justify throwing in another one of these Scorches. They don't have a lot going on in the range row. So if anything, I would potentially say, if we wanted to do something to customize this deck for this opponent, could potentially swap out the Impenetrable Fog for another Scorch. Might be worthwhile, because they're mostly melee, with some pretty huge musters, and then even some relatively minor, comparatively speaking, siege musters. So I think range is kind of the odd row out when it comes to monsters for the most part. But then again, you know, who knows what their actual deck is going to be, right? So I think... Maybe we do go for this, because I think if we do find ourselves with an impenetrable fog, chances are we're just going to want to try to get rid of it, right? If it's in our starting hand, we're, we're just going to want to dump it. In that case, that's a pretty good sign that we're probably not going to want it, or probably shouldn't have it in our deck to begin with. We swap it out for Scorch, make it a little bit more likely for us to get that. Yes, you are monsters. As I suspected, we will go first. That is a little bit unfortunate and is less than ideal. Two decoys. Monsters does not have any spies. Uh, they have the Mysterious Elf, which is a hero, but that's it. That's another thing we could have done. We could have potentially taken out our decoys, or at least lowered the number of decoys that we have. Because we could double play our uh, medics, if we had any. We do have one, but it's Yennefer, who's a hero, so we can't double play her. So, I mean, in theory, if we play taller, you swipe taller and play him. Then we can swipe him back with a decoy. That's... At least as things currently stand, the best use of this decoy right now. But this is... a uh, dragon's good against monsters in particular. This is making me a little bit nervous with this hand here. This is not really what we're looking for. I think we probably do want to dump at least one decoy. Geralt is a big pickup. And then... Hmm. We keep everything in Siege. We have what? Holler goes on the other side, don't, so don't consider him, but one, two, three. Three siege cards that would get doubled with our leader ability, which is not much. 
Makes me a little concerned. The Biting Frost, I don't think we can afford to get rid of it. It could potentially be uh, a round winner. I think we rely on Taller to give us something good when we when we play him. So we have a lot of additional siege units we could draw into. Certainly more heroes. I think we might just live with this. I think we live with this. We do go first, which is rather unfortunate. I think the answer is either hero or taller. Let's go taller. Get a hero and that's the other card that I didn't want to see was the Siege Expert. Okay, so you go Dandelion. And I'm suspecting that much like we saw with Squidtail in the previous opponent that we faced, it's going to be Dandelion and then followed up by one of their big melee musters. But I think we wait and then proceed to play the Dragon after they do that. So we're going to try to buy time a little bit until we can make that happen. Question then becomes, what do we do in that case? I think we go Philippa. It's your hero. You're gonna be scorch proof. You're also not in the seed or not in the melee row. He is helpful. Okay, Karen's a little bit concerning because you're a hero. We'll boost everything else in the melee row. So again, you're just doing a lot of stuff to buff the melee row, but not a lot that we can do to remove this yet. Still waiting on you to actually play the muster, which I think is probably the next piece. So we're waiting on the dragon. And still just about any other card that we play here would become a Scorch target unless if it's a hero. The reason why I'm a little bit reluctant to play one of the melee heroes right now is because if we do that combined with the dragon, then suddenly our melee row has 10 or more strength and the dragon could get destroyed. And I'd like to try to avoid that if we can by deliberately just playing the dragon in this round and only the dragon, at least when it comes to melee row. So I think in that case, we might even... Might even deliberately just throw down the Siege Expert by himself. We really just want our opponent to play the melee muster, because then we have a counter to it. But we don't want anything big to happen in the meantime. If anything, we'd love for you to go twice in a row. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't work that way. So, we have a medic. So maybe we play a big... Could even play the dragon. Or, well, no, don't play him now. But maybe we play a uh, melee hero. And we will play the dragon for that Scorch. If the dragon does get Scorch itself, then we can use Yennefer to get it back. And either in this round or in a future round, and use that for another big uh, melee Scorch, because I think that is going to be relevant. So, maybe that's not the worst thing after all. Is it coming now? Not yet. Not yet. So, I mean, we could use the dragon now, but it's going to do almost nothing in this case. I mean, well, it destroys Sultan, yes, but one 12 strength unit, whereas what I want to wait for is if they have any big musters that uh, ideally have all the same strength, so we destroy all of them together. That'd be perfect. But that remains to be seen. It does, however, mean that now we are safe to play some of the Siege cards. Because they will not become the Scorch targets. So I like that. As things currently stand, that would that honor belongs to Zoltan. And so I think we can continue going this route here. Though I'm getting a little concerned that we have a lot of defensive plays to destroy their cards. We don't have a lot of just high point plays, well, with our relatively low amount of siege cards here. So that does make it a little bit tricky. Ugh. Could go with the siege expert now, at least he does something on this occasion. And it is not enough for us to surpass our opponent here. But if we need to do that in one card, then we could follow up with a either Geralt or Dragon, I think, would both do it in one turn. After this, this is mostly just for, again, waiting for you to play a Melee Muster. No, you pass. It was, it was smart. It was well-timed. So, now, we have several options. The question is just, what do we think is the most efficient way to win this round? One... Is Geralt. Gets us up to 50. It is 
our simplest and biggest card to play at this point. It's technically slightly less than doubling Catapult with our leader ability, but uh, we might want to save him for that reason. Other option would be the Dragon, which as things currently stand is actually a 22 point play. So in this round, it is better. I think this is still potentially one of our best cards, possibly our very best card against monsters specifically. I think we probably do want to save that for future round. I'd probably prefer playing Geralt now over playing you. Other option would be if we were to go with leader ability, I would double everyone in the siege row, giving us another 15, which would also bump us up to, uh, to 50, which would be enough. Now, that might, strangely enough, actually be our worst play going forward in round two or three, because we we didn't have very many siege cards to begin with, and we played several of them in this round, so really only, at least as things currently stand, it's only an eight point play to double the catapult. We could potentially draw into another siege card if we draw into a siege card or a spy when we win this round as Northern Realms. But I think at least with the information that we know right now, the answer is that the most or the the worst card that we have remaining that will still win this round is our leader ability. Can we go this route. And I did not double check what your leader ability is. Oh, your monster. So you leave a unit out there on the playing field and it was a one point taller, which is pretty hilarious. Store a card from your discard pile to your hand. Okay, so functionally, you have one more card than it looks like you have right now. And Monsters is another faction where it is possible for them to win a round just by, well, playing nothing, because as you see here, they carry over taller. So rather not have them win by one point without playing any cards by having us pass immediately. So we definitely do want to play something. And what did we draw into? I think we drew into our John Banner Medic, which is good because we do have a decoy. And because Monsters does not have any stealable spies, that does give us a purpose for our decoy here. So that's good. So ideally what we would do is we would wait for round three and then... Uh, would we though? No, I was gonna say wait for round three. Taller ends up in our graveyard. We play Taller from our graveyard. No, no, that requires that they steal our Taller and then play it, which we don't know that they're gonna be able to do. So in that case, I think what we go for, we may need to play Geralt here. I think we do. Just make sure we have some cards that we can play with our, our medics if we need to. Yeah, we do have some. Heavy Chain Siege Tower. Definitely not the expert, but let's. Go with Geralt for now. Of course, we can't play the dragon, or at least shouldn't play the dragon until you do something like this. Problem is, this muster has one five strength unit. It's very unfortunate. Because you kind of spoil the, the really good melee scorch. Because, sure, you're above 10 strength in melee row, yes, but it just removes this five strength catechin. What we'd really love would be for you to play another muster with five strength apiece. And then it would destroy all of them. Or the crones, I think, are a melee muster that have either five or more strength. So we'd prefer to save the dragon for that as well. And we could... Alternatively, we could say, okay, we baited you into playing one of your best cards. So we're okay with handing you this round now, but don't really think we want to do that at this stage. I mean, we could even, could even melee nerf. Melee nerf would what? Drop you to one, two, three, four, five, six. So you would need to play one more card. I don't know. Because melee nerf and dragon are a little bit, uh, they they kind of hurt each other. And that if we play the melee nerf, then we're lowering the number of cards, or lowering the value of the cards in the melee row. Which means the dragon is less likely to trigger, and if it does trigger, then it's not removing as much strength as it would otherwise be removing. So we kind of want to play one of these in one round and one of these in the other. 
assuming there is going to be a round three. But oh. I don't love the melee nerf in round two because sure we can lower your strength now and make it so that you need to play more cards to pass us but these cards still have in this case in the case of katakin five base strength so using monsters leader or monsters faction ability you will carry over one card from round two into round three and that card will still have its five or four or it's taller one strength so the the melee nerf doesn't last into round three and carry over that value unlike the dragon which outright destroys a card so hmm. in other words i don't want to play these two cards in the same round but i also don't love playing either of them right now anyway which puts us in a strange place of well but you need to play something because <laughs> i mean like do we decoy into one of our siege cards then it becomes the scorch target which i don't love either uh, whatever we play here is going to be sub optimal i think we go with that hmm. let's go with the melee nerf like i said it certainly has its downsides definitely means that we won't want to play the dragon in this round and okay well you do have clear weather so good to know that you had it and you were going to be able to undo that whenever you saw fit to do so. That does hurt. Okay. So that was one of our, our better counters. Hmm. So now we either play the dragon and remove a 5 strength card, which feels like a waste. Really think we want to save this. Or we risk having one of our cards get destroyed by a Scorch, which I think is what we have to do here. So I think we go Dun Banner Medic. Get out. Trebuchet or Siege Tower doesn't make a difference. It does give us the lead here, forcing you to play a card. What will it be? Banner's Horn. Okay. Dragon starting to look a little bit more intriguing. Also, passing starting to look a little bit more intriguing. Remember, they will keep one card out there, and they do have their leader ability, which allows them to play a card from their graveyard, so effectively, they have two more cards than their hand would suggest, so if we were to pass now, it would more or less be four cards to four cards, which is not great. But if we go dragon, let's just do the math here, we go up by seven to 33, you go down 10 to 33. Uh, and we did win round one, which means if we were to tie, we would win the game. So it would force you into playing another card. I just still think that the dragon can do better than this. And now the catapult is safe from a sport, so I think we do play the catapult here. It is not enough to win this round, but they can't pass, because if they pass, then we can just proceed to play more cards, and we win. Now they go leader ability, and I did not... Could we see what they they used i i didn't didn't catch what it was if, if it was possible for us to see so now we either yennefer into trebuchet or we decoy to get you back hmm. tell you what i think what we do here i think we do dragon Gets us up to 41, gets you down to 33, and then we have the combo of Yennefer into Gun Banner Medic into Decoy for round three, which is going to be pretty powerful. So it does mean that we're using all of our, our defensive, quote-unquote, plays in this round, but I think we have to live with that. Force you to play more cards here. Get rid of what would have been your best card to carry over, and this would have been... Potentially a good one for the uh, the melee scores. Like, this is the situation we really wanted, was get a bunch of cards with the same value in this row here, and then delete them all simultaneously. But Katakin still would have been a 10 strength card, disrupting that. So, doesn't work here. They have two cards remaining. We need to ask ourselves, do we think we can win this round if we were to go in 
say, decoy on the medic and replay you or go to Yennefer and play trebuchet? Or would we prefer saving for next round? Because if we do save for next round, then they do get the benefit of carrying over a card. And we don't do that. So in many ways, it's actually uh, three cards on their side to two cards on our side, except we have gimmicky ways of playing numerous cards through the medics, so I think we do lean on that. I think we do. I think that's still better because these cards are going to be five carryover, or rather a four carryover at best. If they get taller than only one, that's ideal. But uh, if not, or well, uh, on our side, you know, we're going to be able to play the, the medic plus other cards. The medic is five compared to their four carryover, if you want to compare it that way. But think... I think we do kind of still come out ahead there. Doom Lee will not play any additional cards. Just a matter of which card you end up sticking with, and surprise, surprise, it's going to be one of those four strength cards. They also will go first. Which means if they have a Scorch, they're in a bit of trouble here. This, uh, that's the, the set of cards that we really wanted to be able to Scorch. These were the highest strength musters, so they were the ones that we could have collectively taken out together. However... However, hmm, we do still have a way of dealing with that. We do, in fact, still have a way of dealing with that. One moment, please. Let's take a little while. As we will Yennefer into the Medic first. First the Medic. And then... You. And now we do that. That's what we wanted to do before. So that's the combo we were looking for previously, along with decoying on this medic in order to replay you and get another card out of our graveyard. In this occasion, we'll just take our highest unit, the catapult. And we have done it! You know, the first try. Maybe. Superb match. A great pleasure. The prize will be yours. Faith, this time we get a card out of it as well. The coin's gone. The guard's been stabbed. What? How is this possible? No one's removed the coin from the premises. All those leaving were searched. Sure. Sasha, we, we won. This was not part of the plan. Anyone leaving must pass inspection. Got an explanation for this? Before you ask, it wasn't me. Figured as much. Better not have been. An unexpected turn of events, but our agreement stands. We must try to recover the coin together. Okay, rather not get involved. Uh, you know, we just won a bunch of coin and someone ran off with it. But uh, we don't care. Rather not get involved. No. <laughs> We're in on this one. Where do we start? We must get upstairs. Wait. I say, this Witcher is Captain Hansen's good friend. He could examine the crime scene. Charge only mm -hmm. a trifling. A fee? But... We will, of course, collect it from the Captain personally. How is his injury from the other week? Has it healed yet? Well, I did it. Splendid. We shall go upstairs at once. That we shall. All the guard? Okay, we should save. We cannot save. We should try saving. We can now save. Okay. So. All right. What's the, ooh, what's the deal? Uh, ne next time we see the captain, m'lady, I would um, appreciate your mention. That is all, good fellow. You may go. Uh, is that the, the, the captain? Requires Absolute silence while he works. Of course. I think the captain's dead. That went well. Really know the captain? Of course not. Yes. Oh. Pretty well. Come now, get to work. Okay. Great. Thanks. So, let's, let's 
Check it out. It was delivered from a strange angle. Expert though, precise. Hmm. Okay, so some kind of pro we're dealing with here. There are apparently other things for us to investigate. Uh, hold on, what was that? That was extinguished, not examined. Fooled me! What else? Uh. I mean, the crime scene technically does extend outside of this room a little bit. Uh, but we can't go through that door. Uh, oh! This. What is this? Somebody dragged something heavy towards the terrace. Okay. Looks like we ought to go out here. Um, oh, what is this? Crossbow bolt. A line tied to it. Lines it's like it's gonna be a, a love letter or something. Ethan might have used it to lower the sack of coin. He'd need an accomplice waiting down below to grab it. Hmm. Quite elaborate. Something down there, but I can't make it out. Must have been one of the players. Lowered the coin down on the line and strolled past the guards. Hmm. This was well prepared. Think you can track the culprit down? Don't know yet. I'll look in the street, see if I can find anything there. Okay. Come on. Are you accompanying us? Alright. Let's check it out. Get our money back! We won it fair and square! Never mind the fact that we were planning on cheating. Slash stealing. And you know, karma kind of came back to bite us. But ah, okay, here we go. What is this? Same as the one tied to the bolt. Gonna have to look around. Where's that scent coming from? Cinnamon. Strange. I don't smell a thing. Yeah, you know, us witchers got those super senses and whatnot. That does suggest that perhaps there is a a scent wafting through the air that we can follow. So I don't see it. Not Wait, where is it? Where is said scent? Are they? Can we not actually have the winter sense itself? Where is it? Where's the? There it is. There's the scent. Okay, now we we're talking. Okay. Yeah. Where we go? For something unusual. Oh. What is this? Haste makes waste. Culprit lost this grade. Must have fallen off the wagon. Can you be certain this was the thief's? Abs positivity. Crossbow under the packages. <laughs> Itching to crack a pun about every rosemary having its. I appreciate you resisting the impulse. Mm, I've seen Parts this Asian time. It's a trading company's, one that imports spices from Zeracania. They have a storehouse at the docks, northernmost one on this side of the port. Shall I meet you there? Sounds good. Okay, so we meet Sasha there. And you were saying that we suspected that it was actually one of the players? Although, have we actually determined who that player was? Because, uh... Black ones, the Danians. Because if we're trying to think of, well, actually, what is the most efficient way to get there from here? We might actually want a fast travel. There actually isn't a fast travel spot over there. So I guess we're walking. Is it true? But, uh, can we walk this? This looks like a really bad idea. I did not realize we could do this. But we can do this. Okay. Indeed. But yeah, if we're trying to guess as to who it was based on it being spices and whatnot, I mean, it does make me think of the farmer dude that we played in the first round. Potentially him. Or... I mean, the elf, or the half-elf dude, obviously had a lot of ill will directed toward us, so I suppose you can't necessarily rule him out for that reason, but... I don't know about that. Okay. 
So, in theory, we are looking to go around here-ish somewhere. A what? What? I have a new quest? What is it? Huh? We have a problem, Master Witcher. Might have ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? Will it to pay? I suppose. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Need some kind of lead first. Any clues? Yeah, yeah, he ran toward the port. Came out of the sewers. Totally not suspicious sewers. at all. Should be an easy scent to follow. Okay. Novograd, Close City, Numero Dos. Okay. I guess. Take a quick detour for this. Oh. Looking for a scent. A sewer like scent. What am I to do now? Fine or not? Ooh. Want my advice? Uh, yeah. Somewhere. Rubbish in the oh. channel. What you have here is gospel prophecy. Ah, here's something. Okay. Two Traces of sewer slime. Yeah, let's save just in case the order of operations matters here. I mean, it does sound like we hopefully can take a quick minute here to investigate this. Cern Citizen Sermon? We've seen plenty of these before. But uh, this is for a different quest. Makes me... I don't know, maybe that's a coincidence? I think that's a coincidence. Blood. Fresh. Okay. Armed ruffians in town. Uh, what about this? No, up here. Even more misery besides. Why are you bothering him, you grub? Can't you see he's busy? Up here? Okay, we got gotcha. something. Oh, is this him? That was five stone with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? All right, witchman. Take your coin, bugger off. All right, so you're just looking for us to track down some guy they were doing a, a drug trade with, it looks like? And now he's, like, hurt? And you want to kill him? And take his money? I don't know about that. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next we'll have my stick it up for cats. I'm not joking. Ain't ya? Fine, we'll talk serious then. Oh. So that's how this plays out then. Suppose we could have seen this coming. <laughs> In case it wasn't clear before, yes, indeed, these are bandits. Perhaps more accurately, these were bandits. What's the matter? I didn't explain. Help from the likes of you. you yeah. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use too. Don't get used to it. Listen, I've lost much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly. Will you help? Yeah, I mean we can't just like huh. leave him here. You're not too sure are polite when you need something. But it is true. Fine. Do you a favor. Against my better judgment. Give me your hand. So, you know, he's a witch hunter, which means it could be very critical of him. His life choices does presumably uh -oh, is he, huh? does presumably do some pretty not okay things, but at the same time, doesn't really excuse us from helping someone who is dying. No, it's quite so I think that's a pretty safe bet that you should probably do that help people oh. who are dying more often than not uh how do we get out of here though how, how do we how do we leave, leave this place though it's kind of 
kind of the, the question I'm asking myself. I think this is how we leave. This Dr. Von Grunt, he any good? Okay. And where are we now? Are we on the opposite side of town? We are on the opposite side of town. I did not appreciate that. <laughs> That's where we're trying to go. We still have our, our custom marker from that. Uh, I mean... We walk to Oxenford Gate and then fast travel to St. Gregory's Bridge. Once you factor in the, the loading screen, not sure that's really any faster. So I think we just probably make a straight shot for this one. Kind of just what comes from having this spot be so far away from any fast travel location. Go, go. But we can try. Uh. Bring Roach into this equation. I don't think we can Let's go, go through there. Despite it kind of looking like we can. So I think we kind of need to go around. Run, Roach. Let's activate it on our, our active quest list, just in case. Uh, high six. Okay. Oh, now you're not going to let us sprint with Roach? No! Um, this was not for the... No, move it. Uh, no, no, don't, 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 don't do that. Also, there is something glowing on the ground, which I suspect is another one of those sermons. Oh. I find it yep. That it is. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, really did a... They're very dedicated to littering those all over the place. I kind of thought those guys were going to try to attack us, not going to lie. And... We're what? Halfway there now? Oh, Maybe? I think this is actually a pretty big hop if we try to jump this. Yeah, we probably need to go down this way. Silverton... You know, just exploring the various areas of Double Grab. That's all. Just racing through the streets. Definitely doesn't look like we ourselves are a criminal. Well, what are you talking about? No way. Um. What about now? Now we're pretty close. Okay. Basically just around this corner. Ish. Uh, can we loot this stuff? No, that was ignite something. She's here. Presumably. Yes. Hello. There are six inside. I wasn't able to get the door open. Gotta find another way in then. Okay. Uh out. Find a way up, I'm thinking. I mean, there's this. That's locked, and it's not really... This looks like a really bad idea. Let's not do it that way. <laughs> I think we were very lucky, very lucky to uh, land on the <sighs> railing there. Otherwise, we probably would have broken an ankle. Here's the wagon. Smell the cinnamon now. I was right about the warehouse. Okay. Eh? What do you mean? Okay. Can we say get up on that somehow? Not sure if that's really stable. I don't know if we can make this jump. We can make that jump. Not sure if we were supposed to make that jump. Maybe, maybe not. Let's search for more obvious ways in. Also, just assuming that there weren't going to be guards around here to rat on us for taking that stuff, but I suppose there's a chance it wasn't going to work. Uh, we use you somehow? I don't know. This looks like our answer. Let's save right now, just in case. We cannot save right now. Let's save right now, just in case. 
Thank you, game. Oh, okay. Apparently we are now in this building with Sasha. <laughs> sure. Um, one moment, please, while we just, uh, fix some booze before whatever this is. Find a way to get into the warehouse. I mean, we've done that. Um, is there anything else we're supposed to do here? Check what's going on. Let's see, so Geralt is hardly an ace gambler. I don't know. We did a pretty good job in that tournament, if I do say so myself. He has had a few good runs in dice poker tournaments. Oh god, don't remind me of dice poker. No. True, but these were always local fairs against opponents whose skill level left much to be desired. Tournament in the world's greatest metropolis, now that, was horse of an entirely different color. The high entry fee and stringent deck requirements scared off amateurs, so only wealthy professionals had signed up. Everything was in place for play at a high level in exciting company. In other words, my friends, for pure pleasure. It started with an indecent proposal. Sasha, one of the participants in the tournament, made Geralt a proposition so brazen, so utterly brazen, even his jaded jaw dropped. Together, they were to steal the coin set aside as the tournament's prize, despite the fact that Geralt won the tournament. Perhaps Geralt would even have been tempted by Sasha's proposition. Before he could accept or reject it, however, another double dealer made his presence known. While they were talking, one of the participants stole the coin set aside for the reward, beating Sasha to the punch. So that doesn't really tell us much other than just we're checking out what's going on here now that we're inside the warehouse. So, uh, also definitely a lot of loot in here. So, uh, sorry, Sasha, but if you could just, like, give us a second here. But yeah, I imagine there's probably going to be other people, right? Yeah, there are definitely other people in here. <laughs> How much can we loot before? Nah, I think we, we probably... We'll try chatting with them, and then we'll loot afterward. Seem to, like, can't really throw that up, maybe. And see if we can figure out who it was who did the dastardly deed. Bernard. Ah, uh, is it the guy we played first? I suspected it might have been. Which one's Hortensia? Uh, the tall one. Masquerade's done, Tully. Give us the coin. Masquerade? <laughs> well put. Been watching you from the start, sweetheart. Though I ought to admit, I thought you'd follow me alone. Told him who you are yet? No? I'm sure he'd love to hear it. Go on, tell him. Or I'll tell Hortensia to break your fingers. Care to explain? Hey, uh, I mean... So, sure, he's trying to put Sasha between a rock and a hard place, be all like, Well, Geralt, you think that this Sasha person is your ally right now, but really they have this deep, dark secret that they didn't want to tell you, so you should question whether or not to help her. And by taking this first option, we're kind of buying into that, whereas if we just say release her, we're kind of like, yeah, I don't really care what the deal is. I think we go that route, and then, assuming we can take care of these bandits, then we can ask all the questions we want of Sasha after that. Which... After we save her butt, I'd have to imagine she'd be willing to, you know, explain a bit more. Let go of her. Step away. One of you restrain him, then make sure he gets a good view. All right, buddy. Not gonna happen. I, I would just like to say that I, I did put on a Gwen for it. Uh, can Sasha die? Um... Please do not kill Sasha. That is Sasha. She's over here. Let's demolish them. Okay, you did hit us. I will give you this. You did hit us. Sasha seems to be doing pretty well defending for herself, though. Meanwhile, we will decapitate everyone. Not so bad. Oh, good work. I did not, in fact, suspect him, whereas he clearly caught on to me long ago. Halflings can be unpredictable. At any rate, pretty, we've succeeded. Uh, now to divide broad the statement. coin. Oh yeah. So what's this proposition that's supposed to convince me to share my winnings? Yeah. No longer on the table. We retrieve the coin together. We shall divide it equally. And no more. Uh, is that Let's slow have now? The Kingfisher. My treat to celebrate my last day in Novigrad. Your treat with the coin that you are taking from us. Oh, so you're returning to Nilfgaard, huh? Heading back to Nilfgaard? 
that why you needed the coin? I see you miss very little. Still got a touch of an accent. Ah, well. It seems I shall need a Just a bit of a strange anyway, accent, but I don't know what to I'm read into that, or that's just coincidence. Novigrad, so... Who were you before you became a spy? I don't rightly remember anymore. That's but I suppose a lie. you can call me Cantarella. That your real name? No. Well, almost. What does that mean? Her name, her real name was something similar to Cantarella, but she just modified it ever so slightly. In which case, not can't really think of any names that are almost Cantarella. Uh. Uh, so. I mean, we did have some questions. I mean, don't really want to take things like, you know, at level, but I think we can draw the line. I'd love to. Also, kind of would have liked to have looted here first, though. There, there was a lot of stuff to loot. I think we're going to get teleported. As it turned out, the blue eyed prostitute was actually his sister. He couldn't believe it. Oh, no. True story from Witcher 1. see her again at the House of the Night, and then. Fascinating story. Shall we go upstairs? You can show me exactly how it ended. Uh, no. Maybe some other time. Some other time, maybe. I understand. Not all stories end the same way. That's one way to put it. In that case, I shall be off. Very nice to meet you, Geralt of Rivia. See you again, someday. Okay, uh... See that we never really got a chance to negotiate that whole... That price thing. You know? And whatnot. But high stakes completed, and uh, the, 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 the coins. So, the, oh well, our coin pouch does look quite a bit larger than it was before. Now, reaching the sixty thousand mark, pretty insane. And then at this point, we have collect them all. I actually don't know which coin cards we are remaining. There is a book somewhere that tells us, right? But tracking down said book is easier said than done. Is it a quest book, technically speaking? Probably one that we've already read. I think it has the name Gwent in it. Probably helps. This. The two cards remaining in Velen. Number of new cards which can still be won from players with no particular renown or skill. Zero. If somebody in Velen, or two people potentially in Velen that we still need to play, I don't know who that would be though. I mean, well, presumably just random people in some shops somewhere. So we do want to do that because given how we, well, have done the big tournament at this point, we have done the, I suspect that is basically the most difficult of all the quick matches or series of matches that we have. That is in many ways sort of the the grand conclusion to everything Gwent in The Witcher. So perhaps it would have been nice had we confirmed that we had done everything else beforehand and then use this tournament as a way to complete the quest for completing all the, or acquiring all the white cards. But nonetheless, I think it was still very nice to finally win this one after having uh, to wait Again, I, I don't know how long it was, but it was a long time in between our first attempt and then subsequent attempt on this one. So, uh, we'll have to take a look at Velen. And by take a look, I mean perhaps do a lot of talking to a lot of different people. See if we can figure out who it was that we did not get the chance to play. Uh, and I suppose, fair game to say, uh, if you remember in chat or in the comments who it was, who we did not get the chance to play yet, then please let me know so that I do not need to go and search every single location in Velen for the one or two people that we've not yet played at Gwent. That would potentially be quite time consuming and probably not something that we are terribly interested in doing. So uh, <laughs> feel free to bail me out on that one. 